Sub's got a pretty interesting visual history. Sub goes in some pretty wacky directions throughout a lot of his design elements over the years. So it's gonna be kind of cool to see where, I hate that I did that. It's gonna be great to see how different he is because I think comparatively Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat is kind of like straightforward. Mortal Kombat classic Sub-Zero. This is very, very specific. Sub-Zero in Mental Kombat 1. That's fine. You know, he is a unique man who is definitely not like Scorpion at all. Proper Bihan Sub-Zero, right? Um, and what, I mean, what can you say? Like basic Sub-Zero, I feel the exact same feelings that we've had about Scorpion in the past. And uh, he's got a better pose than Scorpion, right? I like, like this thing instead of that thing. I think that's better. Um, but still, it's basic. I think it's the most like de facto standard. Five out of 10, basic bitch made. Mortal Kombat 1 Sub-Zero. We don't even need to talk about it too much more. Uh, MK2, obviously we get a little better. Things get a tad better in Mortal Kombat 2. And again, I think this design similar to Scorpion, pretty similar. I, it's funny, all the classic MKs, there's really not a lot to say about how these designs feel because I think MK2 is pretty great uh, in terms of Mortal Kombat Ninjas giving more texture and padding. And we've talked about this several times before. Yeah, I quite like the look of the classic Mortal Kombat Ninja in Mortal Kombat 2. Again, he's just the cooler Scorpion. I hate to say it, but it's true. So I'm gonna give this one a proper like seven out of 10. Maybe I gave Scorpion higher ratings in the past. I hate to tell you, but the points are made up and the score doesn't matter. Let's keep going and look at some more visual history because we actually get a big change in Mortal Kombat 3. So Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero goes through a pretty significant change. And this is the artwork that I remember. And at this point in the history of Mortal Kombat, Scorpion has been essentially eliminated from time and space for some reason. What the hell is going on? Why is Sub-Zero Henry Rollins all of a sudden? This is not good, right? Uh, again, I think this is a, a, a new take on Sub and I, I don't specifically like it. He looks like a G.I. Joe character. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, he really does. He looks like cold Superman. And even if we compare it to his actual in-game model, it doesn't get any better. Shockingly is kind of just as bad. Um, so personally, I think, I know some people sort of like this version of Sub. I just don't, man. I, I, I'm not a huge... I'm not a huge fan of this version of Sub-Zero, and I'm gonna personally weigh it even below MK1 Sub. I think it's like a, a three. If I'd be generous, if it's a four, I'll be generous if it's a four. He looks like Walmart Cable. Hey, shut up, he does. Funny enough, this would change, right? This would not be the eternal way he looks in UMK3, but in, in Mortal Kombat Trilogy and the later versions where they add Sub-Zero, right? He he just looks like, he just looks like this, you know? He's just basic old sub. He's, he's kind of got, you know, the same old special moves, the MK Trilogy sub. So again, this is fine, but you know, uh, is it is it as good as MK2? It's not. So it's like a six or a seven or something like that. Sub-Zero Mick creepy hands. So they gave him the general reptile look. So anyway, we're already waning a bit here in, in terms of, oh, Sub-Zero has already gone down a dark path, right? Moving on, Mortal Kombat 4 Sub retains the same stuff that for the most part, Scorpion had. I'm pretty sure he's still got Batman ears. Yes, he does, but he keeps the, uh, he keeps the eye scar, right? So it's like, I, uh, man, he really looks like an NFL Blitz character, right? He just, I'm not a huge fan of the Batman ears. Yeah, in MK4, we get we get Batman ears on some of these characters. I think this one's like a five, maybe a four. I don't think it's great. I think, I think other characters look a little bit better. Zoom in on him. I think this is even Henry Rollins. Yes, yeah, so we get the maskless version as well, but you know, there's not much to say there. Um, it's a little bit better than MK3, right? Them being just... Johnny McNude chest. However, there's one that's gotta be thrown in here, which I think is very important. The most important Sub-Zero of all of them, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. So I'm getting my own thumbnail, right? Where's my own dang thumbnail? 
MK Mythology Sub-Zero. Getting a little bulky on the mask there. Is it a respirator? It might be a respirator. Maybe he only needs cold air to breathe? That could be the case. I like my fan fiction more than whatever the hell they're cooking up. But it's basic, right? It almost looks almost identical to the MK4 costume outside of the Batman ears. It's pretty dang similar. So again, I don't like it, you know? I don't specifically think it's great. But there's another one that we gotta throw in here and I'm gonna do these in chronological order, at least somewhat. I really dig this mask on this Sub-Zero, right? Sub-Zero's mask is always a point of contention where it's like, does it look good or does it not look good? Believe me, I think the mask on MK Movie Sub-Zero is dope as hell. It's all frozen. Uh, granted, it's, you know, really basic. Oh, look at this pose. Dang, this is looking great. Sub-Zero, you're looking fantastic. But still, right, it's kind of neat. I think it's I think it's a, a a better, more focused, simple design than some of the freaky stuff they had going on later on with the mask. I think the mask here is actually great. So again, simple design. Sub-Zero looks good in the Mortal Kombat movie. I'm gonna give him like a seven out of 10. Relatively boring and kind of safe, right? Because that's just the way Mortal Kombat characters kind of wore back then. It's better than this, that's for sure. Deadly Alliance Sub-Zero. Looks pretty sick. I remember them doing the same sort of stuff to Scorpion around this time frame. This is not bad. He's almost got like the monk style and the full frozen arms. This is not bad. I hate to say it looks cool, but it does look kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if I like the, the huge medallion, but I really don't think it's awful. I think this is another seven out of 10. I'm curious to see what I feel about the other ones. <laughs> you know what, maybe, I don't know, go back. Something about the mask isn't doing it for me. I think, I think the same thing might've happened to Scorpion around this time frame. The gi is sort of cool, and I do like the drapery part of it, but I I don't know if I like this era of mask design. It looks a little weird. This was his alternate. Let's find out what the heck his main costume is. Oh yeah, it's freaky old Henry Rollins sub again. That's right. Yeah, we, we rated that one first. This is the way Sub-Zero looks. It's just bad, dude. Now we're just gonna take what he looks like as a G.I. Joe and just make him an older guy. I'm gonna say this one's like a two. I think the other MK3 ones have some parts that are kind of fun. This is just like boring and dull. I really don't like it, man. So I'm gonna say this is what gets my lowest score so far. This is like a two out of 10. I mean, it's just it's just sort of primitive CG rendering. I get it, but whoa. Probably one of the most bold changes they had with the character. Shredder Sub-Zero. And this was the one we, we saw with Scorpion where it had some heavily armored Scorpion for this game. And they did the same thing. This is their take on Sub-Zero for this one. And yeah, I mean, I think it no shit is like a 10 out of 10. Shredder Sub-Zero is incredibly cool. He's armored up and plated and everything, but I think it's awesome. Relatively simple without being insanely over-designed in many ways. I don't know if I like the little floofy thing around his neck. I don't think he needs that. He's a cold guy, but still, this is a really, really, oh my God. Yeah, this is a sick design. This one, this one's not so great. This one's cool. This one's genuinely cool, right? He almost looks like he's a Soul Calibur character. I like it. Uh, these all look fantastic, right? Fantastic. The, yeah, and this is the alt. He's a bit weird. They gave him like Goro hair and just a huge dress. I think it's better than some of the other ones, but no, nah, I'm not feeling it as much. I just, I'm not, I'm thinking this one's like, maybe like a four, at least to me personally, like maybe a four. It's not the worst, it isn't the worst, but I don't think it's good. And I think it has the comparative of being held next to this, which is just easily one of the coolest looking Mortal Kombat characters ever. That's harsh, man. He looks like Goro got cold and missed a couple of arms. Now we gotta get to MK Armageddon and MK Armageddon sort of is a, uh, a uh, hodgepodge of everything. Got a little bit of Deadly Alliance, got a little bit uh, here, a little bit of there. I don't think there's much to rate on Armageddon, except seeing new character renders, which are only okay. Still, we have a couple of Sub-Zeros that hit some pretty low lows and sub some Sub-Zeros that put some, hit some pretty high highs. It's, we're at a weird point in Sub-Zero's visual history uh, because ultimately Armageddon is just everything just hodgepodge and put together. Moving on, now we're gonna get to the modern era of Mortal Kombat. And I think this is pretty good. Uh, again, there's this like thematic, like open mask thing that I'm not a huge fan of, but I think this is pretty good. 
I'd give this one from this render probably an eight. Let me look at the other ones because he does look way different in the actual game, right? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's funny how reserved this Sub-Zero is in comparison to what they do with Scorpion around this time frame, where the guy is literally walking around with giant bug armor. I do think this one's okay. I think MK9 Basic is about an 8 out of 10. Damn, this artwork is great. Jeez. From this artwork, I'd almost give it a 9. I'd almost give MK9 a 9 in this one. Yeesh! He's got something very similar to, obviously, what Noob Cybot has, but yeesh! This one's rough. Although I like this one more. I think I actually like what's going on here a little bit more than here. Yeah, I get it. It's supposed to be Bihan. I get it, which is why he's got the Noob Saibot skin. I get it. It's just, it doesn't look good when you can see parts of his arm. It just doesn't look nearly as good. You think the ice arms ruin it? Yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I mind the ice arm thing going on in Sub-Zero. Hold on a second. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's flip flop all over the place right here. Because we got to go back to Mortal Kombat versus DC Sub-Zero. Yeah, again, that, there's a reason why I think I like this design a lot is because it was heavily inspired from MK versus DC Sub. And I remember his design in this game not being that bad. So it's all right, you know? I don't think this is bad. I think this is a proper like 8 out of 10 looking Sub-Zero in this game. And I'm like, yeah, there, there's a reason why this looks familiar. They brought him over. And then there's another one. How different did Sub-Zero look in uh, Shaolin Monks? Yeah, this ain't bad. Interesting. I think Scorpion and Sub-Zero had pretty different visuals. Check this out. Yeah, I kind of, I, I think what's going on with Sub here is way better than what's going on with Scorpion here. Granted, they're both stripey. They are both there. I think I'm also going to give this costume an 8. I'm not feeling uh, incredible things about it. I might want to give it a bit higher. If we go to 8.5s, maybe like an 8.5. But I think there's there's a couple of things going on here that I like a bit more than what they were trying to do with the other games. Looks like a World of Warcraft model. It kind of does. I mean, granted. It kind of does. So we've been through the ones in between. MK versus DC, Shaolin Monks. Oh, you know what? My bad. Cyber... We got to include him, Cyber Sub-Zero. Let's do it. Let's do it. And long story short, I do I do not love the way he looks in this one, man. I'm not a giant fan of the Cyber Sub visuals in MK9. Something about it just, and I, I'm having a tough time identifying what it is. What is it that I do not like about the, the mech's designs, the, the robot's designs in this one? I mean, granted, he's got some Predator elements in there. I get it. He certainly does. But not in the ways that make the Predator cool, you know? I think it's like the tusks or the mask or this sort of like generic looking like body type. I think I'd give sub Cyber Sub-Zero visually. Mm, man, probably a... Uh, it's funny, I still give him a seven which is weird, right? I'm still giving him a seven. He's gonna get a higher rating than most characters. It's just that I do not love it. It's weird that I was thinking negatively about it, but I still hover around like a six or a seven. I think the cyborgs end up looking a little bit better in Mortal Kombat X and then even better in Mortal Kombat 11, which is, you know, unfair because they're not technically playable. This is a cool render. Yes! I think you just need the right shot. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm happy about my seven rating. I'm like, Am I giving this guy too much of a high grade? Nah, this is fine. I think this, this in terms of the Cyber Ninjas, this looks fine. Here's largely the Sub-Zero that I think is the most known is MKX Sub. And I'm gonna have to dig deep on this. What do I feel about Mortal Kombat X Sub-Zero? I think I'm feeling pretty good. I don't think I hate it. I actually think I kind of like it. I think I'm going to give this one a nine, right? So he's buff as shit. This is this was obviously the Sub-Zero that I played the most as well. And I always thought he looked good in this game. I never used many of his alternates, not too often. The mask is not the best. The glowy part of the mask is also like not the best, but I think a lot of the costume design is sort of neat. I I like it. I think it's I think it hovers around a nine for me. But there's a ton of alternates in this game. Ugh. It's a four. This costume. Beardy sub. Uh, I think I give beardy sub an evil sub. 
I think they both get like fives. I really don't like either of these ones. I don't like his huge poofy hair in this either. He's got like Superman's hair from Injustice 1. Yeah, I think MKX holds a pretty high spot in my heart in terms of Sub-Zero visuals. I think he looks really good in, in Mortal Kombat X. And I, I think this is a genuinely good design. I would just change the mask a little bit. Sub-Zero Injustice 2. Now there's a lot of variants to this version of the costume. But he's got a cape. He's got ice spikes. Look how crazy this shit got. Look how crazy this dude looks in some of these. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of dope. But this is, we're not talking about that. We're talking about default bus bureau. I think this is not, I can't give it a 10, right? I can't give it a 10, but I hate that I like it so much. I'm sorry. In the exact same way that I'm going to apologize for Scorpion in Injustice and liking that one so much, I'm sorry. I'm giving it a like 9.5, not a 10. I can't give it a 10, but I think it's higher than a nine. I, I think for inter if you're going to create like a wacky superhero version of Sub-Zero. I actively think this is really cool. God, Injustice 2 was such a good looking game. I think it's pretty goddamn cool looking. He has a wrestling belt. Yeah, because he's the goddamn champion. It brings us to the last part of our story, unless I'm missing something. Mortal Kombat 11 Sub. And you know what? I wish I could give Sub-Zero the kudos in this game that I essentially gave Scorpion, where it's just like, oh man, this design is just the bee's knees. He's the best he's ever looked. I don't think he is though, right? I And I don't know if I like the, the little like hat, like the, the mock like Chinese looking hat. I don't know if I like it very much. I do like a lot of other parts of his design, right? I actually think costume wise, it's looking pretty sick. It's the mask and the hat that kind of ruin it. And what's funny is that you can change that, you know? Like these are things that can actively be adjusted. I almost think this looks even better, right? If we're talking about something that fixes this, I think what they do here looks pretty great. Maskless Sub-Zero with the way they just, they stylized him now looks pretty dope. I'd actually give this probably like a nine out of 10. I think Sub-Zero looks sick as shit right here. There is definitely some redeemable elements. And the, the biggest thing is that obviously Mortal Kombat, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 has a billion different character designs and visuals where how you can change the way characters look. There's just so many costumes. Anything crazy inspirational going on down here? These all pretty much look the same with some minor differences. Costume differences, obviously a little bit. The bandana, different masks. Bandana sub looks good, right? Sub-Zero having a bandana, that's a good call, right? If we're gonna talk about the MK Ninja that should have a bandana, it's Sub-Zero 100%. Uh, Dimitri Vegas sub, it's an 11 out of 10. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, and they brought back this, you know, they brought back Shredder sub for MK11 and it looks really sick. It did look really sick. The full realization of that costume, it did look really sick, dude. This, I think this is, I think this is a 10 out of 10 Sub-Zero shit right here. I really do. It's the best. It's just the best he's ever looked, in my opinion. Here's the in-game model and not a render. It's perfect, brother. Brother? That, that's deserving a brother. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. Best Sub-Zero, straight up. Favorite Sub-Zero, best Sub-Zero, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Actual 10 out of 10, peak Sub-Zero. Even all this shit they got going on down here, it's complicated as fuck. He's got ice grenades and shit. I don't care. It looks awesome. 10 out of 10. And that, you know, obviously leads us to Mortal Kombat 1 Sub-Zero. And it's just, it's back to basics, right? It is very, very much back to basics where it's hard to be upset about it. The MK1's designs are like relatively safe. Again, the mask stuff doesn't look specifically great on any of the MK ninjas I feel at this point, right? I actually, weirdly enough, I really dislike Smoke's mask. Scorpion's mask is whatever. And I think Sub-Zero's mask is also kind of whatever. I think it's fine to the point where I really can't give it anything above like an eight. I don't think it's a six, so I think I just have to hover around a seven or so. Compared to all the really cool looking Sub-Zeros I think we've seen, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna give it a 6.5. I think this design so far is a 6.5, and I'm really hoping we see some other wild designs in MK1 
for the Mortal Kombat ninjas. Specifically, stuff we saw in Invasions mode that had a really crazy looking scorpion. It's like, oh, there might be some crazy looking stuff in the game that you can get. I hope they do that with sub. I'd like to see a really neat looking Sub-Zero. You know, if you have to bring back, if you have to bring back this shit, man, I don't think anybody will be upset. There's another one that's in the back of my head. Hold on a second. Sub-Zero from the Mortal Kombat movie. And, uh, here he is. Ah! Ah! The mask is okay, but it's, it looks like this bitch is wearing a football helmet. A, a whole ass foosball helmet on. Yeah, I, I just not a huge fan of all of this. So much armor. Sheesh, man. It's, there's a lot going on here. And I don't necessarily get from any of this. He's a cold guy, right? I think that's my biggest issue here. I'm getting that he's like a bug. He He's inspired by bugs. It's not cool. I'm gonna say this is not cool. I'm not, I'm gonna give this one like a five. He's a barely blue man. Look at this. He's barely blue. He's blue when you, when you cover him in blue light. Yeah, sure, everybody's blue. I think this dude and his massive Ed Boon eyebrows look way better. I hope this is Ed Boon, 100%. I forgot about this guy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, man. Oh. Oh man.